Hi everyone, Alex Sheen here on week 34 of 52 Promises to Volunteer at Different Nonprofit Organizations. This week I was here in Cleveland. This is actually our office if you've never seen it. Um, in Cleveland and, and I was sort of pinched for time. I had a couple trips uh, out of state, but I found a benefit, uh, uh, a fundraising 5K for Margo's Free to Be Project. This is a nonprofit organization that promotes self-worth and a better concept concept of self-image for young women, girls, and, and actually they're moving more into uh, supporting the same message for young boys, men. You know, why is this such an important thing to me? Why is this such an important thing um, that is effective because I said I would? You know, many of our supporters have been uh, victim to the same crime that Margot, who this uh, nonprofit is on, in honor of, the same crime that Margot went through, and that is one of, of sexual assault. It's a, it's a horrible thing that takes a, a very emotional toll on people, an incredibly violent crime. As some of you may know, I, I walked across the state of Ohio and benefit uh, victims of sexual violence. And in that experience, people I knew came up to me and told me that they had been molested, they had been raped, and they told me what that, that does to you. And it's, it's not a moment in time, it's not a scar, it's a forever type of thing sometimes, most of the time, and it's incredibly horrible. So the concept of self-worth self it connects tightly to this issue of sexual violence, but it's something that I think we all need to have. I think when we have that self-esteem, when we understand we do have self-worth, when we understand that our promises and our commitments, they make a difference, when we have that confidence in ourselves, I think that's where it all begins. It's a foundation. And so I very much support their efforts. I uh, went to this 5K, didn't know much about the organization, and and was introduced to the executive director and others and, and became more familiar with the story behind it. I had a pretty simple job. I actually went to the halfway point in this 5K, took cups of water, just handed it to people. It's a simple thing, but you know, some people appreciate their huffing and puffing and some people are just feel like they're out for a morning jog and others are uh, you know, on the edge of their life it seems. But you know, okay, I'll hand you a cup of water. Thank you for, you know, supporting this nonprofit. I think it's it's something awesome that both people can experience. You challenge yourself with a 5K, you you benefit a social cause. You know, so I like I like these fundraising efforts. Um, you know, also another thing to uh, to note about Margo's Free to Be project. It is a registered nonprofit in the state of Ohio, and they've they've registered for that 501c3 federally tax exempt status. But in the, in the United States, it can take up to it took us like 14 months to get that status, which is a shame because these nonprofit organizations they struggle to get and keep that funding because they're waiting for that you know approval stamp to be put on there. It took the IRS uh, like 12 months to look at because they said I would uh, application so. I feel for Margo's Free to Be project. It's, it's hard to fundraise, uh, but it's good that they're putting together this 5K. They do a, a, events, uh, training things to help uh, people understand this concept of self-worth and, and to find it themselves, to find that value in our being. So it was a, it was a good week. You know, met some good Clevelanders, and um, we'll see where week 35 takes me. Hope to see some of you guys at the annual event. I know I keep uh, mentioning it, but uh, it's really big coming up in Columbus. And um, uh, I guess that's it. Till next week. Peace.